My name is Paul Wollover. I'm the owner of Pinellas Power Products. And this is a demonstration video for my extended runtime fuel kits for generators that use the Zonson Group 149cc engine. Uh, among those would be the WEN 3600 watt generator. I'll be demonstrating this kit on the WEN 3600. It will also apply to other generators that run the Zonson 149cc engine. I do not know all of them off the top of my head right now. However, if you see this video with it, you'll understand. Um, the first question I'm normally asked is, with your fuel kit installed, can I still run off the stock fuel tank? And the answer is yes, absolutely. If you want to run it off the stock fuel tank, you'll run it absolutely the same way you did before you installed my kit. Nothing has changed at all. Uh, my kits are simply a safe way to run off of a remote tank if you would like. Um, real quickly, if you are watching this video on YouTube and you have any follow-up questions, if you look in the description section of this video, you will see where it has a link to my website so you can either email me or call me. Please do not attempt to contact me to ask me any questions through YouTube. I do not monitor the YouTube comment sections, and I do not monitor any chat rooms or anything like that. If you want to get in touch with me, just contact me through my own email or through the phone number, and it's all listed on my website, as well as a, uh, a thorough FAQ page that nobody ever seems to read anyway, and then the product description pages that have a lot of detail on it. But if you do not see the answer to your question, do not hesitate to call me. That's what I'm there for. Um, real quickly, the operation of this kit is very simple. If you have already watched the installation instruction video, then you know how the kit is installed. In addition to all the parts shown on the installation instruction video, the kit will come with a 3 meter fuel hose and a quick disconnect fitting that will screw into your marine tank. Um, this one already has a fitting screwed into it, but I just wanted to show you real quickly the extra parts that come with the kit. These are Yamaha style fittings, which are slightly different than the Mercury style fittings. If you break one or you need extras, you can either order them off my website or go down to your local Bass Pro Shops or whatever and get the Yamaha style fittings. They're totally different than the Evinrude, and they're just different enough from the Mercury ones that they won't work. If the package says fits Mercury and Yamaha, that's your first clue. It won't work. Get the Yamaha fittings. They're just different enough to cause you problems. Um, the next thing is that my kits are a genuine fuel transfer kit. It is not a gravity feed. It is not a through the cap. It is not a one size fits all. Like I say, this particular kit will fit anything running the Zonson Group 149cc engine. The kits are designed to have the fuel tank sitting on the ground next to the generator. The only reason I've got them up in the air like this is because I'm old and I'm tired and I don't feel like crouching down. And also it's much easier to shoot the video this way. Um, if you look at the bottom of the product page for this, you'll see a video where it explains how to use a 14 gallon fuel caddy as a uh, portable tank. Uh, personally, I think that's an excellent idea. Item number one, it's 14 gallons, which is plenty of fuel for something this size. Item number two, it has wheels on it. At my age, wheels are really important for lugging 14 gallons of fuel around. And last but not least, I've seen so many different inherent problems with these marine fuel tanks that the fuel caddy does not have. And if you watch the video on the fuel caddy, I go over all of them. Uh, so I'm not going to repeat them here, but at any rate, uh, setup is straightforward and simple. You'll get a three meter hose, which if your brain works in American, that's about nine and a half feet. On the hose, there's an arrow, and that arrow points in the direction of fuel flow. So, your fuel is going to flow from the remote tank to the generator. I would advise opening the fuel tank vent first, just to make sure that it is open, and if you've had problems with your fuel tank, crack the 
fuel cap lid loose to make sure it vents. One sure sign that your vent is not working is if you go to snap this fitting on and it sprays gas all over the place, your vent's not working. And you'll need to run the generator with the fuel cap cracked open. And I do see a lot of these vents fail. The manual vent like this one has fails a lot less often. The automatic vent ones, it's close to a 60% failure rate, which is atrocious. But at any rate, you'll snap this fitting onto the tank. And because I have the fuel cap loose, it didn't spray all over the place. We've got the fuel tank vent open. On the generator, I have the fuel inlet port right here. In order to be safe, run the fuel hose around the front of the generator, under the handle, and then snap it on. The reason that I say to do it this way is because gasoline is flammable, which everybody knows. And I don't want the fuel hose to be hanging down or have any possibility of hanging down in front of the exhaust, which is blowing out hot exhaust gases. As I stated earlier, if you are running this thing off the stock tank, you'll run it exactly as though you did before without any changes in your procedure. If you're running it on my remote tank then, There's a decal right here that explains the steps to it. And that would be to hook up the hose, open the vent on the remote fuel tank. Then on the Zonson Group generators, there's a four position switch, which is engine off, fuel off, run, and choke. So you turn the position all the way to the choke position. And the first time you use this, you're going to have to pump the prime bulb until it gets firm. Because when you get it brand new, the hose is full of air. So you're going to have to pump fuel out of the remote tank, through the hose, through this fitting, through the fuel pump, and fill the float bowl of the carburetor. And that's going to take about three or four pumps to do. Once it is running, or excuse me, once you pump that firm, with the choke in the, or with the uh, selector in the choke position, you pull the recoil start and start the engine. And as you know, if you were running it stock without my kit, you would then move the fuel selector valve to the run position. With my kit involved, you're going to move the fuel selector to the fuel off position. And now it's drawing fuel from the remote tank. If it's in the on position, it draws from the run or stock tank. And if it's in the fuel off position, it draws from the remote tank. This is a safety feature. It is to keep you from having the stock tank and the remote tank connected. That way it's impossible to transfer six gallons of fuel from the remote tank into this little 1.9 gallon tank on this generator, or I think it's 1.6 gallons on this particular generator. But if the tanks were connected, and the vent on that failed to work and it was in the hot sun or something and it pressurized, it would then overfill this tank and leak out through the vent into the evaporative emissions canister and then start dripping gasoline all over a hot engine, which is why I've got it set up to where it will only connect to one tank at a time. And like I say, fuel in the off position is remote tank and in the run position is the stock tank. I'm not going to start the generator right now. If you've got one of these generators, you already know how they sound. And we are in a small room, and carbon monoxide poisoning being what it is, there's no point in me actually starting the generator. Uh, but you get the idea. If you have any questions, and you're watching this on YouTube, please look below the video, and you'll see the description section. That's got a link to my website. And on my website, it's got my email address, it's got a contact page, it's got my phone number. Uh, do not hesitate to contact me, any questions you might happen to have. I thank you so much.